こんにちは、アイです。Hello, my name is Ai. I'm a Japanese mom who lives in Southern California with my two girls and my partner. In this video, I'm gonna introduce、uh, Japanese home cooking. Keywords are easy, simple, yummy, and Japanese. Today, our main ingredient is this: hanpen. Hanpen? You probably、uh, try hanpen. You put in oden. It's a white square shaped、uh, fish cake. Made of、uh, white fish and yamaimo or mountain potato, the root vegetable. And this one already cooked, pre cooked, so you can add in salad or、um, you can saute, and it's very、uh, useful, like a versatile. And today I'm gonna make two dishes. First one is a date maki.、Uh, date maki is known for New Year's food. Like, uh, you put in osechi jori, Japanese traditional New Year's dish. But I make date maki all the time because it's very tasty and kids love it. And I usually you make date maki, it's like an egg roll, Japanese egg roll, fluffy egg roll. And you eat as it is, but I sometimes drizzle、uh, soy sauce or I put in a soba or a udon as a topping. And、uh, it's very easy and texture is amazing. It's a, it tastes like a kind of like a cake, fluffy cake. So I will demonstrate. And another one is a very simple、uh, hanpen no, uh, no, pizza. I'll make pizza with a、uh, hanpen. So I'm gonna put topping and then put in the oven toaster. So let's see how to、uh, prepare hanpen dish. Let's make date maki first. A sweet omelette. To make date maki, you need one hanpen or fish cake, four eggs, three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of mirin, and two tablespoons of honey. And in the blender,、uh, Cut the hanpen into pieces. And place the everything, the rest of the ingredients in the food processor. And blend it until it gets smooth. And I forgot to mention that we are using 26 cm frying pan. And add some oil, spread the oil, heat the fry pan, and after heating frying pan over the wet towel, press the、uh, frying pan for five minutes. Then add a mixture, so it's called aranetsu toru, to take off the heat out of the frying pan, frying pan a little bit. And then press the lid and over the low heat. Cook for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of cooking over low heat,、uh, it's ready to roll. So place the makisu or bamboo mat for sushi roll.、Uh, place the, it looks like a pancake, but that the maki is pancake on a bamboo mat. And outer side is a nice golden brown. And grab the edge of the bamboo,、uh, bamboo sheet or makisu and carefully roll, roll into roll, like a roll cake. Nice and tight. And place the rubber band. And place it in the fridge overnight. And after one night,、um, date maki is ready to serve. So take off the rubber band and then unroll the maki s u And it looks like a big omelette. And cut the edge. And cut into your favorite size. I like the thick one. 
and datemaki you can eat as it is and you can put in a kids bento box or as I mentioned I sometimes press in a soba hot soba or udon as a topping and it's it looks nice and beautiful and texture is very fluffy and it tastes like a sweet cake so you will enjoy the uh, flavor of datemaki and maybe just me but I sometimes drizzle soy sauce and a little bit of wasabi for datemaki and next one is super easy hampen pizza for hampen pizza I don't have exact recipe uh, you need uh, one piece of hampen and your favorite, your choice of vegetable. Today I chose slice of onion and pepper. And you need a cheese, shredded cheese, and Japanese mayonnaise. And cut hampen into four pieces. And place the hampen on the aluminum foil. And spread some shredded cheese. I chose a mixed, uh, like a Mexican shredded cheese, Mexican style shredded cheese. And place some sliced onions, thinly sliced onion, and red bell pepper. But any vegetable goes well with this uh, hampen pizza. So you can add mushroom, shiso leaf, just like pizza, your choice of vegetable. And at the top, spread some uh, Japanese mayonnaise. Uh, Japanese mayonnaise give a nice uh, golden color for pi pizza or baking and on the oven toaster press the pizza or to press the hampen and toast until uh, the top topping gets uh, nice and golden brown about five minutes and hampen pizza is ready to serve and my girls love this hampen pizza its uh, texture is good and uh, it's a surprise taste and I love uh, soy sauce for everything so I drizzle just like datemaki I drizzle some soy sauce and then place a um, most is seaweed, seaweed on the top. As I mentioned, hampen is very versatile. You can eat as it is. It's already cooked, so you can eat as it is. Or, of course, uh, put in an oden or deep fry too. So please explore the uh, flavor of hampen. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.